Okay, so welcome to this uh, fairly short tutorial about setting up your program guide on Plex. This is particularly if you are having trouble with the guide updating, uh, like I have. Um, basically, I use a 4G router I live out on a farm, and it's route 3, and I found that it's 3 that is my problem. Okay, so having a discussion with 3, they said for me to go onto my router, which is a Huawei AI cube and to force the settings so that it's only on 3G. Totally worked fine. There are apparently different settings between the two that occur, um, but that's not something I want to keep flitting backwards and forwards every time I want to update my program guide. So there are a number of steps you can do to circumvent that, and hopefully I'm going to sort of show you that. So let's let's show you um, the sort of thing that you get if you try and set it up as normal. So I'm going to scroll down to where my live TV and DVR settings are and I'm going to set up uh, my Plex DVR. Now I've got two Silicon Dust HD Home uh, runs set up. I'm just going to click on one of them and click continue. It tells all the channels that I've scanned recently for. So it's always worth doing if you haven't done that for a while. And I'm going to click continue and it's basically asking me to type in my area. So basically I'm Essex way. Um, you'll get the wheel of doom for a number of um, seconds and it will come back and say that it's not been successful this is when you want to go in and maybe go into your router if you are on um, 4g and force it to 3g only and this will be successful but it's only going to be a short-term fix every time you want to you've got to stay on 3g or you've got to go back to 3g every time you want to update there you go it can't find any guide data Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this XML TV guide option. And there's some things you need to do in advance. First thing is to Google for MC to XML. Okay, and you'll find it takes you to this dot or water space dot info. And if we go there, it will take this website. So it's now archived. So this is something that may not always be available. I'm sure that somebody somewhere will um, always keep this program up and running until it becomes uh, incompatible. So when we, we're going to download the file, but there's a few things we're going to look at later on. One of them being this, these U and um, F settings. Okay, so we're looking about doing uh, some date um, and some services. Don't worry about this. I don't understand it. I'm just highlighting that these are some settings we're going to look at later on. So if you scroll down, you've got Windows, Linux, Mac OS. I'm on a Windows system, so I'm going to download this one. Notice it's an executable. It may have problems with your antivirus because it's an executable, not downloading it. I just accepted that and knew the risks. Once I got it, I ran a virus checker on it. I enabled my antivirus runner checker before actually running. So what did I do with the executable once I downloaded it? Well, basically, I put it in to a folder on my C drive, and I made a folder called EPG for Electronic Program Guide, and you can see this is where I've left that singular file. We'll come on to these other bits and pieces as we need to. Okay, so I'm going to run the file, and you'll see it's going to give me a number of options, and what we're looking to do, I'm in the UK, is click on tvguide.co.uk. It's not interested in the code um, or the postcode where I am what I am going to do is click on these first three settings that we mentioned earlier and I'm going to click OK it's then going to give you an option of well where are you and if I scroll down to free view which is what my HD home run is effectively accessing I can choose um, southeast or uh, London would be a good choice for my location. So I'm going to choose London. And you can see that it's downloading 93 channels. Okay. Now, what we've now got is some additional files. One is the XML file, which we'll come and have a look back in a minute. But we've also got this DAT file. Now, that DAT file has just retained those settings that we put in, i.e. Um, that we chose uh, tvguide.com co.uk and also that we chose London okay if I wish to talk, uh, like deal with another I need to delete that 
if I don't, if I just click on the executable, it will run without me um, sort of modifying any settings. So if we have a quick peek at that, it's telling me that I'm basically picking up 93 channels. So if I delete that, that now and run it again, code UK click all three and if I go down to South East instead of London I've got 133 channels so I think I'm going to stick with that okay so what it will do is we say it's going to um, give us a XML file and basically this is just going to keep the information for each of the channels it's found so we've got like BBC2 ITV, etc., etc. Okay. So, once we've got that file, we can go back to uh, our Plex, and we can say, you know, we're going to use an XML TV guide. The path to it is CEPG XML TV. You can give it a guide name if you wish. Um, if I was going to give it anything, it would be uh, effectively the title MC2 XML. So if I do MC2 XML, there we go, and continue, you'll now see that it's mapping channels. If I continue, you'll now see that it is going to start to pull in a whole a thousands of airings. Okay, so while that's happening, let's look at some of the other files that I had. And this one is going to be of particular importance, which is going to be this uh, batch file. Now, what's it, what this batch file effectively does is serves as a reminder for me, and it also serves as um, allowing me to set up a schedule that will run this without me having to intervene too much. So let's show you what that batch file has inside. So each of the echoes are just comments, so it's got... It will bring up a, a, a dialog box when I run it that will say um, EPG will be updated if you continue. Exit to close, meaning click on the X. Okay. It's got choose all UNF options. And then for me, it's a reminder that I either choose um, London or the South East. And I'm just going to put in there. Oh knowing the numbers that I had that's preferable okay and then it pauses until I press a key and then it will run the update again so if I come out of that and show you what that looks like whenever it's run that's what I'll see gives me loads of the information that I've just shown you if I press it it will run my um, MC to XML executable again now all I need to do is open up task scheduler and I've effectively created a basic task. I've called it update EPG and the trigger is at five o'clock on the 1st of um, June and the 1st of December. Yeah, it's going to start the program, which is my batch file. Okay, it doesn't like running directly to executables. So if you want to do that for you, that's just, that's just allows if any of the programs change or new uh, new channels, I should say, uh, come on board or disappear. That just gives me a, a, an opportunity to update. And, and I don't tend to update my TV more than every six months. So I think six months is a, is a reasonable find. You might prefer every three months. Either way, it's fairly um, unobtrusive once you've set it up. So, it now said it's complete. I can go and view my guide. And there you go. All the channels are working. The only downside to this is that it doesn't give you more than about three days worth of um, programming. It doesn't give you the full week like you would normally through the Plex system. Um, I'm hoping that three get enough people moaning about it that they actually investigate it more fully. Um, for me, I'm just going to go and look at my DVR settings scroll down and here it just says how often will your guide update now i've got because you're doing the xml um this effectively uh is how often it will uh refresh itself 
You may not get this if you're using the standard um, Plex guide, as it were. Uh, I'm not really interested in changing that. That's more than enough for me. Um, obviously, if it comes a problem, if you've got low bandwidth, etc., then I'd be looking to maybe increase that to 8 or 12, something like that. But I'm more than happy. That's it. Done. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you found it useful. Um, and good luck.